Hello there! Welcome to Let's Anime Tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how I will zoom in the um, animated character that we previously up, um, uploaded uh, the last tutorial. So last time we made Totoro uh, pass by the camera while the camera is also moving and then stopping until Totoro is out of the camera, all right? So we're gonna use the same method, all right? But this time it's gonna be uh, a little different. So we need to stop, all right? And then as we pass by Totoro like this, as he, he comes over here at frame um, 72 we will zoom in all right so the technique is very easy we just need to select shift select the two layers all right and then you're gonna right click or um, control G to group that uh, those layers all right after we group it, uh, we highlight uh, the group layer. Not this one, not this one. Just the group there. It means we're going to uh, make um, an effect, effects layer uh, for the entire group, all right? So let me show you. I'll go to uh, this, this arrow here, or this plus arrow. Then go to uh, transform mask, or simply you can just right click, right? Let's do that again. Highlight, and then you go uh, right click, and then go add, then transform mask. Now we created the transform mask to zoom in Totoro. But before we do that, let's go here. Let's go here at frame 72 all right we set it up earlier uh, we need to uh, choose this tool click that and then go to um, the animation curves all right if you don't have this uh, just go to uh, settings buffers animation curves all right and then in frame 72, we're gonna add an instance, all right? We're gonna click that, then we have instance. It means it's, it's the start of zooming in, all right? So, depending on how much animation you want to do, so we're going to uh, go to the last frame if you want, here or just simply uh, estimate let's say in frame 108 we will zoom in or maybe let's put it a little closer it's gonna quick zoom in to frame uh, 102 all right so we're gonna click just we're using this we're gonna click the entire image in the transform group i'm gonna click then it will automatically uh, create an instance all right so we're gonna zoom in hold down shift so it will be constrained the the proportion then we can zoom in like this and then we can drag it the entire image including the background so we're gonna zoom in there you go so gonna start here and then zoom in while he was walking all right until he's off the camera so let's try this let's play it let's build the entire animation let's build it and then play so while he was walking and then zooming in and then that's it that's how you do it. 
So if you want to create a smooth zooming in, like slow in and slow out, you're gonna do that too. So let's stop the animation. Let's go here. Let's like select this this uh, instance. So we're going to have a uh, this busier curve. All right. So we're gonna click this by selecting this. Okay. Select. Hi will highlight to white or something. Uh, then we're going to click this. Then it changes to a curve, uh, a busier curve like this. Then we can drag it. Also, if you want to uh, slow in and, or slow out, I'm gonna click this. I'm gonna click that, then do the same, then highlights, right? And we have Bezier curve, and then we're gonna drag it all the way here, right? So it's gonna slow in and slow out. Let's see, let's build and try it out. Let's build and try it out. There you go. So it, that's that's it. That's easy. Um, so we will try to make another one, um, which is uh, with multiple backgrounds, like a multi-plane camera. So uh, we'll try that out. Here is the animation of the zombie that we, again, previously made here on Krita. So we animated the background with the new layers, with the background, the uh, first background, the background one, uh, the mid ground, which is uh, this background, all right? And the, uh, the foreground, which is this one. All right, so let's make that visible again. So including, we made filter layers such as um, color correction, the color correction, the, uh, the levels and the uh, random noise. All right, so we made that uh, on a on separate layers all right every everything is on separate layers except this one this one is in group because we made a a filter layer for the the lens blur see as you can see the for the foreground layer is um, blurring right we made that layer so we group it so the technique here is also the same but we're going to group everything, every everything, um, so we can create a zoom in or zoom out uh, camera movement. So we're gonna highlight everything. We're gonna hold down shift, then select, then group them. Right. So we group them, and then we're gonna create. We're gonna highlight again, and then create a. Uh, transform mask so we're gonna add that so as we can see this is our um, zombie animation which is from the animation starts from 0 to uh, 228 all right so we're gonna choose the uh, frame number when to zoom in and when to zoom out or something like that so we're gonna select maybe we start from uh, frame 72 maybe and then we'll end up uh, we, we zoom in maybe for a short time I'm gonna zoom in right so we're gonna select the transform mask that we created um, and then go to animation curves and then uh, click this button for the the keyframe and it will create new keyframe then we select uh, this tool the transform tool and then we create a zoom in maybe frame 90 maybe it's a quick zoom in then we click the image 
and it will create an auto instance there. And then we zoom in to the character. Then we press enter. So as we zoom, as we see from the previous keyframe, it will zoom in quickly. There you go. So we'll try to, hopefully this won't crash because um, Krita Beta is uh, very buggy at the moment. So we're gonna try it and let's build the animation. There you go. So, as you can see, there, there are some artifacts coming out of the frames because Krita is pretty buggy. But you know, when you render your animation, uh, maybe it will not appear, all right? So as you can see, it will zoom in like this. So you can add, you can also add a busier curve from your uh, animation. Let's, let's select the keyframe. Let's select the red um, X uh, axis and then let's create busier curve. There. And let's move in. There you go. So that's it. Uh, the, the zoom in is really, really easy, actually. All right. So just in case, as you can see, we 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 see we can see the scaling, even the the texture of the noise filter here. This is the random noise. It's also zooming in. So we, I, I guess. We need to um, make the filter separate. Like maybe we can select all the filters here. Okay, we move it from the outside. Let's just click this there. So the the filters didn't affect the zooming in. All right. So if you can see, we still have same. Uh, same amount of uh, same scale rather same scale of uh, the the noise filter see the noise didn't scale the noise didn't uh, distort or anything so it's just stay there so that's that's the technique so that's it that's the tutorial and i hope you can use this uh, for your animation if you don't have a video editor so you can use this uh, technique, this uh, new feature of Krita version 5 beta. All right. So hope to see you next time and I hope to make more tutorials about background animation. So take care.